It's a 71 John Deere 110. I've got the uprights for it, the grill. I've got a hood for it. It's supposed to run. I've got a deck for it. I may put this one back together. I hate parting tractors out. I've got a good seat for it. This one supposedly ran when parked, but it was outside, so yeah, who knows? I see a lot of uh, see a lot of wiring issues on it. I basically bought this one for parts, but uh, yeah, I'll probably try to throw it back together. I'm not one to part them out. I usually try to save them. This one's uh, uh, 185 311, so they'd put it in a 71. TO 641, uh, yeah, manual left 110. Hey, it's got the uh, it's got the bolts down there for a uh, rear hitch. That's a plus. Okay guys, gonna show you the finished product on this 110, it's a 71. Uh, first part of this video I should have had uh, an insert of what it looked like before. Anyway, this is it done. You got the 110 hood on it. It's got a headlight panel. This is why I like bringing them back instead of parting them out. That's a bucketeer bucket. I had this and I figured this would be a good tractor to put it on. I put a, had a set of skinny rims. I bought new tires for them. I got a set of bar tires in the back. Didn't get crazy on the size. I had those. It's got a good seat. I got the tail lights working. And the headlights working. This tractor ran out great. I had to rewire everything. Everything's got new wires ran. I had to add a coil down there at the bottom. The internal coil, the built-in coil and mag. It was bad on this one. That yeah, thing runs great. Just purrs. I added a fuel shutoff switch there. One of the tank does work. I, I, I replaced it. I replaced that one. But I like having it here where it's easily accessible. It's got a clean gas tank. Cigarette lighter does work. Tell it's charging. Both of the regulators, but these are right here. I had to replace the fuse on it. Yeah, this is a nice little tractor. It turned out real nice. The bucket shear blade, it's a uh, it's a trip blade. You pull this, pull this rope, and it dumps. And then to lock it back, let the blade down. Hey 
guys, what do you think? Was it worth uh, putting back together or should I have parted it out? All day yesterday, I spent all day working on this. I got a solid eight hours in it. I did replace the headlight switch, it was bad. I had to use one. What else did I do? Rewired it. I put a different gas tank in it. The one that came with it was pretty rusty. I didn't have to touch the carburetor. Yeah, that's it. Put the hood on it. I actually had a, 110, a 112 hood. I'll post a couple pictures before with a 112 hood on it, but I had a 112 hood and a, a buddy of mine had a spare 110, so we just traded. I've had that bucket chair for probably going on a year and I haven't had anything to put it on. So yeah, it fits this one perfect. I was gonna put a deck on it, but I kind of went with the, the skinny fronts on purpose for the bucket chair. It's not a perfect restore, but uh, yeah, it's presentable now. Okay guys, I'll put, uh, I'll put some video before this. You've probably already seen it if you're watching the video still. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, brought back from dead 1971 John Deere 110. And that number is 185-311, TO641. Did put a new uh, ignition switch in it. Hey guys. Until the next one, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and hey, you can share this video if you want. Okay, see ya.